Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks. We're in conversation with Snap Deals Kunal Behel on riding out the downturn. You know, Kunal, uh, let's address the other uh, issue that founders are going to be faced with at this point in time. Uh, and one, of course, is just being able to go out there and raise capital. Uh, the other is to conserve whatever capital you do have because, uh, you know, there's probably limited runway for, uh, for raising capital at this point in time. Now, uh, as you speak to the portfolio companies uh, that you are currently engaged with, uh, where are they finding the biggest challenge? I'll ask you this in the context of the assumptions that were made through the COVID period, especially for, uh, you know, digital businesses where everyone thought that, look, uh, you know, we're never going to go back to pre-COVID times. And so the growth assumptions were significantly higher. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg coming out and acknowledging that uh, and saying that that's really now responsible for the kind of cutbacks that they are uh, faced with. Uh, how much of that are we seeing or starting to see play out here? The assumptions made about the kind of growth that founders believe was possible and now the normalization that seems to be taking place. Yeah, I think first and foremost, Shireen, when I talk to founders, I, I tell them and I tell myself also the same thing, which is assume no funding is coming into the company and take all your decisions basis there. If somewhere along the road, um, some investor finds you attractive as a business or the market changes, let that be a big surprise, big positive surprise. But assume no new funding is coming into the business, and then how would you decide uh, on the basic aspects of the business based on that? This isn't the time for irrational optimization uh, of optimism, uh, especially if the meter is running fast on, on the cash burn uh, uh, of the business. Uh, and, you know, fundraisers may have given founders pleasure in the last few years, but building a profitable business is what will really give give happiness, uh, given then you're completely, uh, you know, uh, you have relinquished all, all need of uh, other investors uh, coming and backing you in your time of need. Now, uh, you know, going forward, it is going to be very clear that uh, Founders are going to realize that the astronomical growth rates that we were seeing over the last few years are actually quite unsustainable. And they can only be possible if you are willing to essentially inject the business with steroids uh, to drive astronomical growth. Public markets, as you know, would see even 25, 30, 35 percent growth rates as quite quite solid growth rates, quite significant growth rates. There is a big mismatch between what growth rates private market investors think is suitable uh, or appropriate versus what public market investors think is suitable. The only difference is public market investors want that lower growth rate with profit, but private market investors are okay with these very high growth yeah. rates, triple digit growth yeah. rates, 300%, 400% growth rates, and they're okay for companies to lose money. Now for a short period of time, that is okay to do because the companies are small, it's of a small base, there are some fixed costs, but very quickly, it's important for companies and founders to start calibrating their growth rates, not give in to the high growth trap at uh, high cash burns, because then rolling that back over a period of time requires companies to make very, very tough decisions as we are seeing now. Yes, uh, and you know, this uh, uh, driving growth on the back of steroids is never a good idea because steroids are harmful in the long term. They may give you a boost in the short term, but they will have a debilitating impact in the long term. But Kunal, you know, I want to understand from you, given the, the scenario, and you just said that assume that there's no funding coming, what are you doing differently? Is there a, is there a next pivot at Snap Deal given the current environment I know that you have been able to narrow down losses but it's losses nevertheless so what's uh, what's the story at snap deal how are you going about dealing with this downturn I think we're doing fine uh, thanks for asking Shireen but, but I think we're, we're doing fine I think we've been a fairly prudent company uh, in in the last few years uh, kept our fixed costs low we have been investing in growth but we've been doing that in a fairly relatively prudent fashion um, also, we, we are patient now. I think the, one of the biggest, uh, uh, I think the, the biggest enemy of profitability is actually uh, impatience, mm -hmm. uh, is sort of been my biggest learning. That if you're willing to be patient, if you feel you have built some value that customers like, like whatever your proposition is, your customers like, whether they're businesses or consumers, yeah. and you operate in a large space that can support multiple players, 
then the most important virtue that a founder has to demonstrate is patience. Also the investors, I would say. Yeah. Because if you're patient, then you may not grow at astronomical rates. There may be years you may have to cut back your scale also to ensure that uh, you can live another day. Mm. Uh, but if you are patient, then over a period of time, it will work out. If you, India is a fantastic market. You look at our, you know, we're going to be third largest economy. It's a certainty within the next six to seven years. Uh, digitization is abound in our country. Talent pool is abound. Yeah. Consumers are spending more. We we are living in the biggest macro bright spot uh, on, on the face of the planet. At this point, the most important thing for founders is just keep their head in the game mm. so that, you know, when the market opens up again, they are there to benefit from it. Yeah, keep your, the head in the game and uh, plenty of patience and perseverance as well and no time for egos. Uh, uh, that clearly has to be the, the message that founders take away. But Kunal, uh, as an investor, uh, you know, what's the story? Are you investing at this point in time? Uh, are you holding back? Uh, what's the plan? Yeah, I think, uh, Shreen, um, my philosophy, at least on the investment side, has always been consistency, um, where, you know, I've uh, been investing for 11, more than 11 years now, I think starting with Ola in 2011 and many companies, uh, over 250 companies over the last 11 years. And and I've seen that the, the key is to invest across cycles. You don't want to become too prolific during frothy cycles, and that's also a lesson we've learned. And you don't want to just completely shut shop during slightly troubling times because great companies are built in all cycles, up cycles and down cycles as well. Uh, key is to not uh, lower the bar on uh, the type of founders and the companies and the ideas and the markets you are backing and just be consistent. Like it's important to build, uh, to build enduring value through investments one has to be just absolutely disciplined and absolutely consistent year after year after year. So the simple answer to your question is, so we continue to invest uh, even this year, and we are super excited about all the companies we've been investing in, uh, um, and, and we feel that they will be the future leaders in their respective spaces in the in the next few years. You know, I want to ask you a, a somewhat personal question now, Kunal. Uh, you know, when you get used to headlines celebrating you, recognizing achievements, recognizing fundraising, and so on and so forth as a as a big milestone, and then suddenly, uh, you know, there's only bad news and talk about layoffs, talk about, uh, uh, you know, cuts as far as valuation is concerned, it does have an emotional and psychological impact. As a founder who's gone through a near-death experience in the startup uh, way, uh, you know, what was your mechanism of coping with that personally? What would you like to share with other founders? Uh, it's a good, it's a probably the most important question, Shireen, that you've asked me today. Um, I do feel that the burden of expectations on founders are immense. Uh, they get a hard time from all places. They get a hard time sometimes when things are not going well from investors, board members, employees, sometimes co-founders, um, and also media and the world at large. Uh, they, it, can be very, it can get very, very, very lonely uh, in these times. But uh, Shireen, for me, whenever I've always reminded myself that whenever I'm at the bottom of an abyss, just having that little bit of courage, just mustering that little bit of courage to continue and coming out of that trough, uh, you realize that it's a whole new world and things are always, always better. But who did you turn uh, to, Kunal? Did you, did you speak with someone? Did you actively reach out to someone? You know, just a shoulder as a sounding board. Because as you pointed out, it is anyway a lonely journey, but during the down cycles, it gets a lot more lonelier. So what was the mechanism to cope with this? I think having very strong, like people have different ways. Uh, uh, sometimes your co-founder actually will be your biggest uh, supporter because there may be low days that you are feeling, there may be low days that your co-founder is feeling. As long as both of you are not feeling the low days at the same time, you can be a great mechanism for supporting each other. Family plays a very big role, Shireen, during tough times. At the end of the day, our families just want us to be happy and lead, uh, you know, positive and peaceful lives. Uh, while they want us to be successful in our pursuits, 
they their our happiness and our peace of mind is always paramount so staying close to one's family during during tough times uh, has has really helped and just waking up every day and putting one foot ahead of the other and not trying to look too much in the rear view mirror about what could have happened what should have happened what could have done differently mm. i think that's really not productive uh, during tough times the key is to just keep moving forward without worrying too much about what has happened in the past you can't really do anything about it anyways absolutely the present is what you have uh, take one step at a time uh, uh, and you know given the volatile times that we live in there's no point obsessing with the future either uh, you just have to get through uh, the day ahead kunal bahel it's always a pleasure uh, we really appreciate you joining us here to take us through uh, you know your own story but at the same time uh, offer uh, uh, from your experiences, what founders should focus on at this point in time to ride out this downturn. Always a pleasure. Thanks very much for your time. That's it then on this edition of Young Turks. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Do stay tuned. We will continue here on CNBC TV 18. She wants to live a life without fear.